Friday, April 24th. First up, we'd like to say happy birthday to everyone whose birthdays are this week. Check it out. Happy birthday to Nikki, Christina, Caitlin, Emma, Kayla, Emily, Phoebe, Amanda, and Megan. Well, thank you for that, ASB. Our second story is that Spiritual Life Council's applications are now open. Check out the promo video. Hi, everyone. I'm Molly from Spiritual Life Council, and today me and the rest of SLC wanted to take a few minutes to tell you about the upcoming interviews for the 2020-2021 school year. First, we wanted to start this video with talking to a few current members about their experience on SLC. Why did I want to join? Um, I went to a public school my whole life, so Condolette was my first time ever experiencing like religion or anything at school. So my freshman year was definitely really eye-opening for me, and I really wanted to be a part of it because I thought it was so interesting. So I wanted to join because I wanted to be more spiritually involved with Condolette and in myself too, personally. Like I, I wasn't super, I was never super religious or like super involved with like masses or just like the spiritual side of school or myself and I really wanted to dive deeper into that. I joined SLC because faith has always been a big part of my life and I love the way that faith is represented on our campus and how women are so empowered by their by their faith and through their faith on campus and because of that I wanted to be a part of putting on the liturgies um, and spreading the faith the way that Cronulla has spread it. And one of the reasons I wanted to join SLC was to plan liturgies and retreats that would make a memorable impact on the person who went on them, which I experienced a lot of growth through retreats and liturgies at our school of freshman and sophomore year, and I decided that I wanted to give everyone else that same experience and same emotions that I have felt. is the sisterhood liturgy because I feel like it really bonds the Crondelette community. Um, I really like that one. It was the Thanksgiving liturgy because I had a bigger role in planning it and I've always loved the Thanksgiving liturgy. It's definitely the Advent liturgy where each SLC member was spread around the Garavena holding a candle and in the middle there were two big candles and two people in the middle got light from that candle and then pass the light on to all the members that were spread around the Garavena. And I just thought that was such a powerful visual of how Jesus came down and he's the light of the world and he gives us his light to go and spread uh, to others. I just thought um, it almost brought tears to my eyes. That was a very powerful visual and I loved it. Here was the All Saints Day liturgy because of the way we included the congregation while tying the ribbons. I also loved the representation and the symbolism behind the ribbons and how many people participated in this activity. My favorite SLC memory would be the three-day retreat that is only for SLC members because, not gonna lie, I did not know any of the girls um, when I came into the team, but after that retreat, it really got me to become closer with them and to create a special bond. Um, my favorite SLC memory is definitely going on the um, youth day retreat. We went to this huge conference where all the kids in the nation, I'm pretty sure, were there listening to these speakers and just getting to know more about our faith and like ways that you can do group bonding and stuff like that. And Other people should join SLC because we are involved in so much more than people realize. Of course, we plan out all of our liturgies, um, but we also are in charge of morning prayer and daily sendings now. Um, we plan out all of our retreats, our prayer services. We um, are involved in charity, like our Lenten project. We're involved with social advocacy, um, and we, we have a lot of fun. We're a really nice council. We, we really love and support each other, and it's such a safe space. I hope you all enjoyed getting a little insight and behind the scenes of what goes on with our current SLC members. For the formal application, if you are interested in applying, there will be a Google form on Schoology where you can fill out the full application and also sign up for your mandatory Zoom interviews, which will be conducted throughout the day on Wednesday, May 6th. 
any of the things in this video sparked your interest, if you're interested in planning liturgies or prayer services or social advocacy or special projects like our Lenten project or even helping with morning prayer in the morning, SLC could be an amazing fit for you. Um, we hope that we will hear from you soon if you consider applying and if you have any questions, then you can reach out to Miss Payne, Mr. Grand Lahano, or any member on SLC. We would love to have you in our council next year and hope to hear from you soon. Well, I'm excited to see who ends up on Spiritual Life Council next year. That's all for today. Peace out, Coog Nation. Yeah.